Uh, I, yeah, but I mean, we are three, and then people will Make interact. Sense. I will go without microphone. Can you hear me in the back? Yeah, yeah they, they, they we'll, we'll talk yes, as loudly as we can. <laughs> I think they're too connected. Thank you so much. Okay, so maybe okay, we ask the microphone. We should talk about There's actually plenty of empty seats in the first row. <laughs> <laughs> that is also true. See, Debian people are really smart. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's the Fedora guys in the front row. <laughs> <laughs> Is it any better? Is it fun? Um, any better? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So j just a few comments before starting. So the, uh, we started discussing about this completely by chance, I would say, between me and Jared. So it, it, the story that we, it, there's been a, an interesting website which has been announced a while ago, which is called Open Respect, which is about collaborating across different free software projects. And um, me and Jared discussed a bit about that and realized that some of the stuff which is particularly interesting for distributions is not there in that uh, kind of manifesto. And in particular, we realized that the, the actual need of collaborating among different distributions and for the goal of improving free software in general is something we should really explain not much to current developer of distributions because as Vincent then told us it's pretty clear that developers of current distribution have interest in collaborating and we should set it down for like a new bit to explain to them why it's useful to collaborating and actually to try to teach people about that. So could they come the idea of having a kind of panel discussion here at FOSDEM to hear thoughts from uh, different distributions? And initially the idea was to try to brainstorm a bit about uh, a collaboration and a manifesto, but in, being, in the meantime there's been this wonderful cross list meeting, so maybe it's, it's time to actually try to think about how can we improve if on both on all levels, so technically, socially, collaboration among distribution, and hearing from you what you think we are missing to actually have episode of practical collaboration like the sprint we just had more and more in the future. So that was kind of. And, and just to add a little bit, uh, you know, I think I think if if you've looked at Linux distributions over the past ten years, you've saw you've seen a lot of infighting. You've seen a lot of, um, you know. Getting religious. Yeah, getting religious. That's a great way of uh, putting it. And, and I think if we take a step back and look at the bigger picture, it's not about one in one particular distribution versus another distribution. But it's really what can we all do together you know, to, to, to make the world a better place. And I think if we all take that view, yes, there's there's differences in the different uh, distributions, and that's a healthy thing. That's a good thing. It's, you know, there, there's nothing wrong with the differences, and we should celebrate those differences. At the same time, there's, I think we have a tremendous opportunity ahead of us to work together so that we're not constantly reinventing the wheel. That we're not saying, oh, we're going to go and rewrite this differently just because this other team did it in a different way. Um, there's, there's a place to embrace the differences, and there's a place to work together to, to make the world a better place. So, so we, we started this conversation, and I, I invited Jost to, to join us as well, um, because I think it's important that, that we get lots of different perspective. And I don't, I, I don't claim that the three of us have all the answers up here. You know, I, I wish we could have had folks from some of the other Linux distributions up here as well. That's probably as much my fault as any, anything for not getting the right people here. But, uh, but uh, you know, again, we wanted to start this discussion. I didn't come with any, anything prepared as far as slides or, or bullet points other than just starting the conversation. Um, see what comes out of it, and then we then we move forward from there. Yeah, sounds awesome. I mean, this is exactly something uh, you know. Also, try to champion within open source, which is why I was very uh, supportive of the idea by Vincent and some other people to have a cross distro discussion about application installation. And you know, the results have been really good. So I was uh, glad that uh, we can make that happen. And I think I, I want to add a thought here. What I really noticed, and it's the same, you know, between cross desktops, right? What you often see is that the problem is not really that people actively want to work to get, uh, against each other. You know, I mean, sometimes there are like these religious feelings. Uh, when it comes to existing technologies, but when it comes to creating something new, what you often see is that different distributions have very similar issues and similar problems, but they simply also try to solve them by themselves instead of initially starting to talk together. So what's different, I think, by the cross-distribution uh, App Store thing is that simply at some point, uh, when the discussion starts about guys, we need some kind of application store, something to you know compete with the technologies that we are seeing on you know iPhone and Android, you know these these marketplaces for applications. 
the second thought was, oh, well, we need to do a cross-distribution. And just adding that step already makes it happen, I think. And there's not really much more needed other than a change of mindset that as soon as you start talking about, hey, we have a problem here, let's try to solve it. Next step should be, and can we do that together with other distributions? It, it doesn't even mean it's bad to start working on it already, but you should at least look around and see what other solutions there already are. And so it's more of something of, yeah, ignoring what else is out there than actively, you know, doing the wrong thing. I think it is more forgetting about doing the right thing. So I have a, I just a couple of questions to start, which I, I really care about. So I would like to know from people how do they feel about it? what are we missing to collaborate more among different distributions. For instance, some very stupid stuff, like for instance, if it didn't happen that Vincent was in touch with people from individual developers, with individual people of the various distribution, probably we, we wouldn't have known how to contact them. Even if we have a mailing list, like the distribution free test for mailing list, it's very rare to see their mail like, okay, I need this, who should I contact from your distribution? So my first question as a subject for discussion is, what are we missing to collaborate more across different distributions? And another one, do you think that something like writing a manifesto in which distribution engage in collaborating more as a kind of communication on the subject would be useful, or maybe not at all, maybe we just need people organizing meetings or stuff? So this is a couple of questions I have to propose. What are we missing to collaborate better? And whether writing something down would be useful as documentation or not? Just shout and we'll repeat this. Yes. No. Yeah, I think, like you said, it's mostly about finding each other, finding what's out there. You don't know what's going, what's going on inside another distribution. So I think there should be like a website or something where people are listed, but also projects. People list what? Sorry, where people are listed, like this. This person is doing that for this distribution and so on. And also projects. So if some person within a distribution wants to write a specific project, you just go to that website to find out what is already available in other distributions, what is comparable to this. That but sounds fine. So wait, yeah, that's that's wait, wait a sec, I'm trying to keep a, a list of people, so there's voucher? Yeah, yeah well, I was thinking, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably not, not very easy to maintain such a site because it would and it would probably be easier to if, uh, for instance, we, I know that within Debian we have an, uh, an about page on our website, uh, which lists several teams and, and things like that. It might probably be easy to just have a central site that gives pointers to websites in other distributions, like such an about page or something else, if it's, if it's relevant, so that if you say, okay, I need to find someone uh, within, say, SUSE, I can go to that site and see, okay, which site would I go to to find this information? Because if you try to centralize that on a central page, then you're actually duplicating information, which is not a good idea, I think. I bet you that 90% of the distributions don't even have that themselves. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's certainly data that changes over time, and it's, it, 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 it's hard to maintain. Uh, let, me, let me just throw out that, that I, as, the, as a project leader, you know, if, if you have a question on who's the right person to con contact in Fedora, feel free to you know, drop me an email, and I'll try to route that to the, the, the proper direction. It could also be on such a So uh, I was more going to suggest that what we need is clearly identified people a can contact from each distribution. Right, now, a point person from right. each distribution. Kind of right. Ambassador or whatever. Yeah. Well, I think that's very... I think that it's very much the role we three here uh, are supposed to be playing, and, you know, we love the room, I mean, absolutely. So this is definitely one way of, you know, if you're looking for someone, then definitely, you know, within OpenSUSE, contact me, within Fedora, contact Eric, etc. And, but it's also, uh, I think, we need also more, well, who or push. I mean, one of the things that you mentioned was we should, uh, we might have, like, a, a website or a manifesto. I, I'm not sure if the manifesto itself is, you know, that useful, but it does create some attention to the issue. And I think it's very much what we need is a change of mindset, right? I mean, the way of contacting a specific person in distribution, it's not that difficult, right? I mean, if you put in some effort there, you will find the right person. I don't think it's that hard. And it's, it's reasonably obvious, actually, to contact me or Gareth or Stefano. But it's much 
the problem, I think, is that most people don't even think about it in the first place. And that is probably something the manifesto <coughs> is good for. But also this discussion has a function there because people here in this room suddenly you know, might think about this next time they see a problem and want to find a solution for that. There's a comment from there. I think, I mean, there is a simple step for this. I mean, you guys are the one supposed to know everything about this. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, sure. Someone so forgot to tell should, me that. <laughs> <laughs> that that's all we should stuff you together in a room every three months. <laughs> well, it's, I mean, no, not really, because, I mean, we, we are just representing from the most visible distributions, but there are tons of that. So we, I, I think if we want to find a solution or something should be a solution which works for, I mean, most, no, the highest number of distribution possible. So we should find a general solution which we can say, okay, we think it's good to have one contact people, one contact person, one contact email address for each distribution, and there is where we store it. Because, for instance, in the beginning of the distribution list on free desktop, we, we did some work in actually, I think, indexing distribution and trying to map where are patches of each distribution with respect to stream, this kind of stuff. But we actually missed that very simple point. We missed a single email address, which it's, you know, uh, which correspond to a mailbox which you write by someone and a single individual which will reply. So, but it's not just about getting the three of us together or the ten of us or the one hundred of us. So it's couldn't it be even easier if all the representatives uh, from the distributions all gather on the same mailing list? Then you just have to drop a mail. Uh, who works on this kind of subject and people? Can, can react. I, I, I think that's a, a fairly good idea. I would hope that the existing distributions list would be yes. the, the, the right place to do that. In fact, I, I, you know, I, I'll be honest, I've, sub, I've been subscribed to the, the, the distributions list since I became the Fedora project leader. I haven't seen nearly enough discussion on that list as I would, as, as I would like to see. Fidel? Yeah, um, I was going to say, I, all of that stuff is really good. I mean, Extent to which the three of you and your other peers who are leaders of the other various community distributions um, choose to and are able to communicate with each other is all really good. But the suggestion I would make to all of you, and I, I think mean, you just made a, a, a really you know key point here, is that this is really about changing the attitudes and behaviors of the individual developers within the different distribution communities. It is so easy if you step back and sort of take too big a view of things to, to mostly see the, the, the sort of arguments and the bickering between the different distributions. But my experience is <laughs> that at the sort of individual package or subsystem level, people do work with each other and they do enjoy working with each other. And so I would think that, the, that probably the most useful thing that the three of you could do and that your peers and the, the other uh, community distributions to do is just to keep talking about this within your own distribution context. You know, let's make sure in the Debian context that this shows up in in some of the, the updates that you put out, Stefano. Let's get it into the weekly news. Let's do the same thing with the other distributions internal communications mechanism. And just you know, keep hammering on this notion that if you don't know the people who do the same kind of work that you do in the distributions around you, you're not doing it. <coughs> I absolutely agree with that. I think actually this is very much something, you know, I mean, it's a change of culture. We need to start thinking about this on an individual developer level. That means not just us need to talk about it, but it's also something everyone amongst each other need to talk about, right? If someone sees a problem and wants to work on a solution, then others should, should suggest to look, around, look outside and see if other communities have the same problem and want to work together. So it's also something everyone here in this room and every other developer out there has a responsibility here. And, and if, if I could just add one point to that, it's not just about the packaging. There's, there's several other places where we could cooperate better, whether it's documentation, whether it's translation, whether it's, heaven, heaven forbid, I, I, I say marketing. Um, you know, there's, there's lots of other ways where we duplicate effort and we could, we could certainly, you know, communicate one with another. So I just want to ask everybody here, before coming to FOSDEM uh, yesterday, who knew about the distribution's mailing list on free desktop? 
like less, 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 not enough. Less than half of the people. And who knew that we have a cross distro wiki on free desktop? Ten <laughs> percent. That's what we need to do. I think that, I think that's that's going to go. Like, uh, uh, you know, make, make, make keep our same. Uh, who knows people from other distributors that do the same work that they do? Yeah. Which is also <laughs> interesting. <laughs> So, so the plenty, plenty of opportunities ahead of us here to, 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 to work together in a, a more concerted fashion. <coughs> it's probably a little bit heretical, but I actually don't think that putting lots of emphasis on things like knowing about and using the distribution's mailing list is actually such a big win. It, it, it's good that those things exist. It's good that, it's a, that there are places like that to find and make connections between the different communities. But I would be disappointed if most of the collaboration and most of the actual interaction work doesn't happen at a much more direct, much lower level. Sure, sure. I, I agree with that. But at the same time, we've got this resource out there that we can use that we're not using at all to, to even start you know, start conversations, even if it's at the, at the macro level and not at the micro level yeah and I think definitely at the micro level a lot of stuff is already happening right I mean we heard that and I think a lot of packages work with their pitch already and there are patches being shared and you know things being discussed so that that is working but uh, especially when it comes to if you don't know who your peer is and who to contact at Fedora or another place to cross distribution mailing list would be a good place to start so I think it's yeah that's definitely its use case Comment down there. Uh, and I was considering that maybe you know we're looking at this in a very in a very positive way, you're trying to find like the most the biggest contact surface between all the projects and trying to see how we can reuse the biggest part of work. But maybe it would also be interesting to look at what what cannot be what cannot be made you know, or cannot be reused by the whole, the whole idea of joining distributions of joining work and using work and trying to. Uh, shed some light into the things that really are different in distributions and trying to, you know, like kind of defeat the whole FUD and the whole thing like, yeah, this distribution does this better and this distribution does this better and just trying to find out what is actually different and why it must remain different in some aspects. And what is it that makes the distributions and you know, some specific sort of work unique in this sense and why it must remain so? Instead yep. of just trying to, it, but always trying to jam things together and trying to make it work together in a, in a sense that maybe doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I agree with that, and actually I'll be doing that for Debian in the talk after this one. <laughs> but, but yes, absolutely. So I, I think part of the press that Vincent was referring to in his talk that didn't get the point of the cross distro meeting, actually a lot of people like to think about you know universal packaging system or like unifying all distro in a single distro, but that's not the point. So the diversity in distribution is actually very good, I think. So the point is that it's difficult to keep a balance between the, the difference which should exist, the healthy difference which should exist between distributions and avoiding duplication of work. So yes, I completely agree, but really it should be at, at a single distribution level to actually you know, promote their own feature, their own values, because I, I don't think we should get together and decide what Debian is good at, what Fedora is good at. I mean, it's just something, you know, it's part of the marketing of a single distribution to do that. Right, and I, you know, I, to, to follow on uh, Stefano's point there, I think each each distribution has their preferred preferred packaging format. I think they have their own goals and ideals and principles that they stand on, which don't always align 100. percent And and my 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 goal with this, you know, starting this conversation is not to say we're all going to have the same goals and we're going to all have the same ideals and we're going to all have the same cool. packaging format, but but. To, to respect that there are those differences and that's that's healthy and that's okay and we all, all focus on the things that are most important to our particular project but do we really have to duplicate effort you know in a, in a lot of things where where there's no reason to duplicate the effort things like you know, like I said documentation translation those sorts of things a lot of times we're, we're, we're reinventing the wheel solely for the sake of reinventing the wheel just because somebody else did it somewhere else in a, in a, in a different community but this keeps coming back to this theme of optimization and leaving out duplication and stuff like that. And that's not what collaboration is about. Collaboration is not really about, I mean, it's not about optimizing all the efforts that you do into no duplication at all anymore. Collaboration is about just doing stuff together that is fun. 
And I mean, the cross uh, distro app installer meeting was just this great because all the guys were sitting there and had fun together and came up with some results. And it's, we are keep talking about optimization of our resources, which is not what we are, what cross distro or collaboration is about, I think. Well, I think there are different reasons for collaborating cross distro, and yours is not necessarily the same as mine, and this is true in general. But let's not forget that optimizing here is not optimizing in an you know, industrial sense. It's rather that most distro, and for sure most, community, most communities associated to distro are communities of volunteers. So if you reduce the duplication of effort, people will have like more time to have fun on different projects. I'm not out there. Well, maybe you don't care, but for the sustainability of the individual communities, that is really important. So if you can reuse work done by other, you might reach out better results and have potentially more fun. So, And, then, and let me point out that, yeah, you know, du uh, elimination of duplication and, and that sort of thing is, is the first step towards collaboration. It's not the end goal, um, but it's, it's, it's the low-hanging fruit, so to speak. It's, it's the easiest way to get started building relationships of trust between the different distributions. And once that trust is there, it's easier to, to work on you know, forward-looking projects together in a, in a way. I think we've got one in the middle, yes. and we'll come back. Um, yes. Um, and one in my, the my, my point is um, finding out maybe a manifesto uh, or looking forward, what would be interesting in, in, in my perspective? I worked fun on European projects and various collaboration methods. What would be interesting is seeing how, looking forward, uh, having a collaboration between the leaders of various projects can uh, identify the common weaknesses where Linux as a whole suffers. One of those points was marketing and where we might be able to push forward uh, against our competitors uh, by having a common theme where we, we might be able to use common work uh, and make ourselves unique. That, that's a great point. I think we had one yeah, far back. back. Thank you. Uh, I think uh, that's a very good question to ask. To go even deeper and ask ourselves what is today's distribution? What does it mean today? Maybe 10 years ago, uh, it was one thing, but now there are so many that uh, I think it's time to rethink what the distribution means in, in, a, in a deep sense. And, and then uh, maybe once you have a, a, a definition and a general goal for no matter which distribution, then you could go and say, okay, let's have these differences and this similar. I think uh, it's much more. Uh, at the beginning, it will be much uh, philosophical uh, uh, Right. And I, I think some of, uh, at least you know, the distribution that I'm, I'm most familiar with, Fedora, we've, we've gone through that over the past couple of years. We've, we've done some soul searching and, and asked ourselves, who are we, why are we here, what are we doing, what are our goals? And, and certainly the Fedora board over the past several months has, has worked very hard to come up with a vision statement, a mission statement, a, a target audience, those, you know, and, 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 and goals for us. I know, you know the OpenSUSE project has, has done some of that, that same thing, and, and I think all distributions from time to time stop and ask themselves, what, you know, what are our goals? Why, why do we exist? What sets us apart? I think that's, that certainly happened within the di different distributions. I don't know that that's happened on, 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 a, on a more macro scale than that. that that's what I mean. I mean. Not in each project, but uh, as a whole. Yeah, I think basically it is a valid philosophical question, but something that's not... A, I mean, yeah, it's completely relevant for across this road, this discussion. I mean... I, I'd like to go back to, to the earlier point where basically a um, guy over there said, you know, we need to look at uh, what makes Linux competitive to work compared to other platforms. And that is to a very strong degree having superior technology. I mean, marketing plays a big role there as well. And by collaborating, we can simply make Linux stronger because, you know, duplicating work means that, you know, both products are usually less good. I mean, there's, there's an advantage to doing the same thing in two different ways. You know, there's some kind of Darwinism going on in free software, and, you know, we want to keep that. But as soon as you figure out that something, you know, is really good and is a good solution, I think it's only good if different distributions adopt it and work together on that. And, okay, to some degree, 
you know, it is fun to create something fresh and new <coughs> again, but at some times, you know, you also have to look at the big picture and, you know, it is more fun if we have, say, 100 million users for Linux in the world than if we have 500 Linux users in the world. So, frankly, a, a little more ambition is something, you know, I'd like to see and I think that is relevant for this as well. If we want Linux to succeed, we have to work together, you know, to make it better overall for everyone. One over here. I think that we're just about out of time. Yeah. Just go. All right. Last one. So basically, uh, one uh, question I had was is the scope of uh, what you're proposing purely about developers, or is it also about kind of uh, bringing the user community, uh, communities together? Uh, are you thinking of, uh, I don't know, uh, finding ways of uh, leveraging web reports from, from people, or uh, like we had with AppStream, the comments and the ratings from each other. Uh, how do you want to, how do you see the users fitting in all that? Well, in, in my experience, and I saw that I've seen that confirmed also by some report, some stuff reported by Vincent, it's I mean, users tend to be a bit more religious about distribution than developers. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, uh, I, I, think it's, I see that as a way more difficult, and I, at the moment I see less value in that than in... Well, let, let's say that we start a development lab, then we will see where work it does. And I think we need to be very careful with our choice of words here. You know, with, with, with developers, I would, I would replace that with contributors. Yeah, true. Enough. Because it's not just people developing code. It's 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 the kind of the adjunct services that go along with that. Whether it's again documentation, marketing, uh, packaging, you know, translation, design, you know, those sorts of things. People who are contributing, however however best fits in, in, into their own needs. And a follow up on this, uh, when I'm talking about web reporting, one thing that a lot of packages complain about is uh, all the web triaging they have to do. Uh, so I'm wondering if there's anything that can be done about that. There are there, there, certainly opportunities to improve the way, the way things are going. I don't think we have time left here to, yeah. to nail the exact implementations down, but we, I think we all recognize that there's, there's ways we can work together to, 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 to make the experience better for everybody. So. So uh, I think we should call it off. I'll try to post some, some minutes to the distribution mailing list, and so you might better subscribe to if you want to get the minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So one last question, and make it short, to make it short, make it sensational as possible. But by pooling our content and our knowledge um, and our expertise, are we yeah. setting those up as a, are we risking those as a gigantic free lunch for Ubuntu? <laughs> I'm not sure I get the question. Um, <laughs> by sharing things, do we expose ourselves to um, risk of free well, freeloaders? Well, frankly speaking, if it improves free software in general, uh, I don't care. I mean, as long as it improves free software in general, the sharing is good. If it other benefits from that, well, okay. I, I, I don't see it as, as, as us versus Ubuntu. I'll, I'll, I'll be frank. I'll, I'll, I'll say it, I'll say it like, I, like I see it. I, on, you know. on the other hand, we've seen proposals from Ubuntu to have greater coordination between software projects has been rejected by the distributions. There was reasons for that. Yeah, well, there, 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 there's, I, would, I would say rejected. I think that's, that's probably a strong word. I think we, we, we saw the proposal that was made and... and, and there were parts of it that were really good. There were parts of it that we couldn't quite agree with, and so we started the conversation. Well, if, if it was something we were, you know, we could we could agree with what would it look like, and that's what started this conversation. I think this is just the beginning of the conversation, though. I don't think we we're, we're far enough down the road to be able to say, you know, this is this is what we want to we want to stand for, and this is how it's different. It's it's, it's the beginning of a conversation. Yeah, sorry, thank, thank you, everybody, for this. Yeah.